Hello and welcome to today's uh, analysis of the US stock market March 15, 2018. I have with me here in front of the screen the S&P 500 futures, the 60 minute chart of it. Uh, as you can see we can have some we have some sell off but it's meeting the rising 60 minute 200 MA and hopefully it can help to stabilize the drop. Now the it's possible that it might be forming an ascending triangle pattern in the 60 minute chart. So if the S&P 500 futures can break out higher, we might be able to uh, trade higher. Let me just draw another downtrend line here. And if it can break above this downtrend line as well, as it breaks above the ascending triangle line, then we might be able to see some bullish run up. Let's take a look at the Dow futures. The Dow futures is also probably forming an, ascend an ascending triangle here. Okay. And if it can break above this short-term downtrend line here, then we might have a run-up. On the other hand, if it drops below the this little uptrend line here, the Dow might have some sell-off. This is the daily chart. As you can see, I've still put the triangle here and it's finding support here. So it's very important where Dow breaks out. Uh, if Dow can break out higher, then we have a nice run, but be careful if it drops and break below. Okay, this is a NASDAQ future. I have drawn this horizontal line here. The previous highs uh, is still acting as a support area and this uptrend line. Now, as long as uh, NASDAQ stays above these two lines, uh, it will, that will, you will find support here and it's likely that uh, the Dow, the triangle, won't break lower as long as uh, Nasdaq trades above here. So the bias for a breakout now for the Dow, <coughs> if we take into consideration the Nasdaq, the bias for the breakout in Dow's triangle is still bullish at the moment. Let's take a look at the... Uh, chart of five minutes by dia and qqq this is the five minute uh chart of spy as you can see we were entered in the red zone had a real sell off down here and hopefully uh it can trade back into the white zone so remember always to to take trades on the long side when the spy is in the five minute white zone and if it's still in the red zone like this be very cautious same thing with the DIAs, uh, as long as in the red zone, be careful. And also the QQQs has shown that it has uh, uh, been a bit stronger. Okay. Right, one thing interesting about the Qs is it's sitting at the 60 minute support here. So if the support can hold, we might likely have a bounce up but be careful if it drops below this area 170.777 so that's all for today uh, thanks for watching uh, if this analysis is helpful give me a thumbs up and please subscribe for more analysis like this in the future and i'll see you in the next one